See, I got my Shine XP here, 2000 iron. Got the oil consumption issue, it's uh, he's my quart every four or five hundred miles. I did a um, seafoam, um, what do they call that, a piston soak, cylinder soak on it. We're gonna take off out of here tomorrow and uh, we're gonna drive from McCalla to Panama City, which is uh, four hours from here. So it's about 240 miles, something like that. And uh, we're gonna see if that makes any difference. Um, the reason we're going down there is uh, purchasing a 2012 uh, Sion XB, a tree fell in. And the tree uh, basically crushed the entire back of the roof in. Front's fine, windshield's not even broken, nothing up front, the mechanic place wrong. I'm gonna drive it uh, to Gulf Shores where my dad's got a place, and then I'm gonna drive it back to Birmingham. It's gonna be somewhere in the neighborhood of, I don't know, 550, 600 miles. I'll have to map it out to see. But uh, this is the first video in that. And uh, there's two things. We're gonna see if the seafoam worked, and uh, I'll show you the car um, when I get there. So the guy wanted to keep the rims, so uh, I don't know really why they're just regular Staley's. So I got these uh, Mitsubishi Eclipse wheels, and they're the right pattern, and the right, right back spacing, and they'll fit the car. Uh, the rear tire on this that were on the car, I didn't realize it when I got them, are 225, 55, uh, 17s, and that's going to fill the wheel well up. And that's uh, a 225, uh, 45, 7, uh, 18. So, same width, but it's just going to wind up being actually being a little bit taller. The front will be fine. And it's just to get it back up to Birmingham. Yeah, reasonable tread on them. Hope they ride okay. But, uh, any event, this is uh, what we're going to do. So, uh, I'll uh, catch y'all up when the next part of this video, when we, when we get there. I might shoot some on the way down too. Um, so no an issue with these engines using uh, a lot of oil. Look over here, it's, I know it's dark. There's a 2008 over there. We put a motor in it a, a couple of years ago and it had about close to the same mileage, about 210. Uh, the clutch went out, so we just went ahead and put a motor, low mileage motor in it versus getting it rebuilt. So a spare motor. So uh, one of the XP forums, there's this guy telling me, man, you put sea foam in it and do the uh, uh, cylinder soak on it. So I got this right here, seafoam high mileage. Especially formulated for gasoline engines or gasoline cars and trucks over 75,000 miles. So that, that fits into that. Um, supposedly what you do, well, you have to take this off here and you take a quarter can of this and you pour it down in there and it's supposed to clean the rings and make them seal again. So it quits consuming oil. Now, uh, as strange as this may seem, uh, this car doesn't uh, doesn't smoke. It doesn't leak. It just burns copious amounts of oil. So uh, what I'm going to do here, I'm going to break the film here in a second, but I'm going to pour this. I'm going to take this off. I'm going to pour this in here. We're going to leave it overnight, and tomorrow we're going to uh, blow this crap out of here and see if uh, we're going to drive it. We're going to well, drive it a little bit, and we're going to change the oil, and we're going to. Drive from here to Panama City, which is about 240 so ish miles and back. So, 500 miles, we're going to see if there's any detectable amount of oil uh, used by this car. And this case, as much oil as this car is burning, it should be right at the um, area where it's not safe. So, stay tuned. I'll be back. I'm sorry I'm doing this at night, but you can still see, hopefully. Um, if you don't understand this, you probably shouldn't be doing this. Anyway, I took the two screws off the plastic cover. You have four bolts. It holds each one of these coal packs on. Your spark plugs are sitting down in there. So I'm going to remove those, and then we'll come back. Well, that's interesting. Uh, that's the outboard plug. That's how much oil is hanging out in the cylinder. And uh, number three is that way, too, although not this bad. This should be uh, pretty interesting. Well, um, none of these really look great. There was a ton of oil in that hole. This one looks like it has had some. This one was completely dry. And uh, this last one 
it had uh, no this one was pretty dry too so it's just really these two cylinders that were kind of oiled up so um, if there's that much oil getting past the rings obviously this cylinder here is the problem and this one's you know trying to catch up with it so um, we're going to try the seafoam and see if that changes that um, the spark plug was completely covered in oil i'm not even really sure how in the hell it was firing uh, nor am i aware of how in the hell it wasn't smoking uh, good thing for me i've got a replacement engine for this car coming up but this is really just to see uh, if there's any truth to the hype and and even so the, the, this car uh, may not be a good example of it because it is high mileage and uh and it's you know been burning a lot of oil for some time so um well here we are about to pour the stuff in here just so you know uh you need to every time that you do something like this liquid is not compressible don't put the spark plugs back in there with this stuff in there you will bend uh, stuff in your motor at, at worst uh, at, at the least the car won't start to be hydrolyzed. so um, I saw another guy do this you just tape all this up and uh, so it doesn't get everywhere put a little piece of plastic up here it's going to blow that stuff off it's going to go all over everything so just be prepared for that uh, make sure though like I said you don't leave this stuff in there the car's going to smoke some once it uh, uh, cranks up don't be too concerned about that it's just burning whatever remnants are there and take a minute or two and it should clear up I guess I could have done that. That would help turn the light on on the phone. Uh, anyway, I've got the sea foam in here. I don't know. This, some people said 24 hours. One other cat said two hours. I'm going to split the difference because I've been running all day uh, dealing with with uh, this replacement engine deal. So I'm just going to leave it in here overnight. And I'm going to come out here in the morning. And uh, weather permitting, anyway, the weather's going to suck. And I'm going to uh, blow this stuff out of here. And we're gonna put the plugs in it and then I'm gonna change the oil after I let it warm up and then I'm going to um, drive to Panama City so we'll come back 500 miles uh, like I said this this thing it's a little above full because I filled it up last night I haven't been anywhere but about 60 miles today so it's not really burned any measurable amount but we'll see what happens so we'll see if it's hype or it's uh, it's a real deal Right, um, we're back here. I've already, I'm just wasn't going to bore you with that. I changed the plugs. My plugs were pretty questionable looking. So, uh, you know, I got everything back together. I cleaned up all the oil and all that. Um, when I did this, I had cranked the engine over and absolutely nothing came out, which means all of that uh, stuff is down in the crankcase. So, since it's there, I'm going to crank it up and run it to the recommended time, whatever the hell that is. I have to research that and uh we're gonna change oil and uh then we're gonna drive to panama city from mccullough alabama and back actually we're gonna drive to panama city and then the gulf shores and then back so that's somewhere in the neighborhood of about 600 miles just a side note i got a little puff of smoke when i first started it it's so little you can't even see it and it cleared in like 10 seconds all right the oil's changed kind of hard to see on the stick that's so clean so usually when i change it you still see some of the old oil in there no matter how long you let it sit so you know, the seafoam did a pretty good job of cleaning that up um it's about a quarter inch past full um i put five quarts in it so that should be about right so we're we're going with that mark right there and um, when we fill it, we'll see how much oil it actually used and what it takes to, to fill it back up. And we can determine whether this is uh, the real deal or it's a bunch of BS. So you can see it there, right there. So anyway, uh, we'll check back with you in a few hundred miles. So I'm uh, down here at Gulf Shores. I drove over here after picking up the other side. This is my car. I've been for a long time. And uh, this one over here we, we affectionately call uh, Mushroom. Yeah, this is what we picked up today. Uh, last hurricane, uh, Sally dropped a tree on this girl. It's uh, pretty messed up. This whole thing messed up. All this pretty bad. Car drives 100%. I just drove it like 100, and 100 miles from where it was at. Put these Eclipse wheels on it to get it home because he wanted to keep his wheels and tires. There it is. Here it goes. I'm 
I'm gonna try this again. That's a little difficulty reading it. This is um, about 300 miles, something like that. And we're right, it appears anyway, it's really hard to tell. I think we're right below here. So it used some oil. My guess is about a half a quart, something like that. Um, we're gonna drive it back to Birmingham tomorrow, which is 285 miles, and we'll see how low it is. Looks really good and really clean, so I will say the sea pump looks like it really did a good job on that. Of course, they run pretty good too. I didn't really check the fuel mileage. I'll look it down on the way home and see if that's improved. But uh, anyway, uh, it's just kind of a thing to do because you know, old mushroom here is uh, going to get the, all the running gear and everything for this car. It's a shame the the car runs and drives perfectly fine. It's uh, totaled though. So, but anyway, it'll kind of live on in, in this one. So, I'll get back with you guys and uh, give you the wrap up on whether it's a uh, uh, hype or not hype. I kind of think it's hype. But does it do something? It looks like to me it does. So, we'll see. Well, I made it back, um, no real issues. I, I got a, a check engine light on, on the car. Uh, it was on when I picked it up. I, I should have addressed it. You know, it it's cutting out like when, you're, when you get up to like 70. It's, like it's got something going on with speed sensor. Whether it's related to this or, or not, I don't know. Um, th this was pretty handy. This plastic was probably crazy making this all the way back. So um, this stuff is like what they use at the junkyard, you know, keep stuff and get wet. And it's adhesive, the whole thing. So it sticks really damn good. And so there was this, um, one of those things that you put in your windshield that I think sucks. So I tore it to pieces and put it on here and it dampened that so I didn't have to listen to that. So the only thing I had to deal with was freezing my ass off uh, all the way back. And uh, I got some pretty funny looks from some people. Um, yeah, it, it made it. <laughs> sure. That was a sight to look at going down the road. <laughs> Especially this giant gap here. I know when I open these doors, uh, it's going to be the last time that they close. <laughs> uh, anyway, I made it back, and uh, wife's in the black car. So we'll have to see how the seafoam did uh, when, uh, when she gets here. I'll probably just do it in the morning. Y'all have a good night. Well, it's a cold, miserable last day out here. And... Uh, Anyway, just going to wait until daylight to do this. We're going to pull this out and see if this is all hype or if this is for real. Um, I'm going to call it hype, you know, because uh, look where that's at. That's 485 miles, and that's at least a quart, maybe a quart and a half. And remember, it was overfilled, so uh, I'm going to call that snake oil, so... Anyway, uh, we made it back here. Showed it to all last night in the Scion, the, uh, the, the the smashed one, and I did determine. And I guess you can even kind of tell when you're looking at the car. Not only is it crushed, it's bent, and you probably can't tell it. Uh, I think the car may be locked, which is stupid. Yeah, for considering. Uh, the wheel and everything's not straight. The whole car, when this thing landed, not only did it, it, it crush it, it kind of pinched it in. So the whole car is kind of pinched a little bit. It's not bad. Uh, not bad enough to even tell it driving it. But when you're inside and you're on the wheel, it's kind of weird. But anyway, this is uh, going to rescue my car. And the next uh, 
probably in the next six months. So right now, I just got to keep it dry. But anyway, that's it on my journey. And uh, thanks for watching, y'all. So, what's the verdict on this? Um, pretty much, as far as my opinion goes, uh, uh, doing a cylinder wash with uh, sea foam is uh, probably a waste of money. Um, will I say that it's uh, useless? Not really. I, I'd, I'd say that when I change the oil, I've never seen it look that clean after I started it back because uh, there's always some still in there. So, uh, running it in there for, I guess I left it in there 20 minutes or so like that, just idling. And then I removed the uh, everything that was in there, and then the uh, the oil was very very clean. Uh, now I drove 610 miles to pick up uh, the mushroom car, and in that 610 miles, it was at the end of the uh, like I'd said earlier in the video, it would be right where it was in the unsafe, right at the end of that. So it was uh, probably used a quarter, a quart and a half, which is a lot, which is about 400 miles, like I said. So, so much for that. Fortunately for me, I got another car. So what do we learn from all this? Nothing, really. Uh, year results may vary. My car's got a lot of wear on it. The other thing we learned is that you could drop a tree on a 2012 Scion XB and you can drive it 420 miles or whatever home. It can be done. So that's what we learned from this experience. And uh, I appreciate you guys watching. If you like, what, see what you like, subscribe. If you find some kind of content here that you think is cool. If not, we'll just see you around. Later.